Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I wish I could be at a trailhead and uh, we would be getting ready to ride a sick downhill trail, but unfortunately that's not the case and uh, yeah, it's probably going to be at least another month until I'm uh, back in the saddle. Which kind of sucks, but hey, that's uh, the nature of the beast. So, uh, But instead, we are going to be installing uh, some Kushkor today. So I uh, got me some Kushkor, I got a new rim, and I actually have a new tire. So uh, yeah. Um, it's not a super simple task, um, but uh, if I can do it with one hand, you can do it with two hands. So let's, uh, let's check this out. Let's get at her. Hey, so you will notice for this next section that I'm wearing a different set of clothes. Trust me, it's not that I'm changing clothes multiple times in the process. It's just that I ended up doing both a reader's tires. Because I'm running on a broken wrist, I did them on two separate days to reduce the pain a bit. And one of the days I had some camera issues, so luckily I captured both days on film. So there's a few things you're going to need when you're installing Kushkor uh, on your uh, rim and tire. Um, you're going to obviously need some fairly decent uh, tire levers. Um, I have the Cush core specific ones and these are pretty beefy and they're good to hang on to so um, I recommend a good set of tire levers. Um, you're also going to want to get Cush core specific tubeless valves so as you can see in this one it's got like a hole on the side most tubeless valves have a hole in the top. Uh, with this however when you're doing it um, when you put the Cush core over top of the rim and the tubeless valve, it plugs this top, so you have to ensure that you align uh, the little grooves on the cush core so that uh, air can come through. So um, it's pretty important. I don't know if you can use um, standard tubeless valves, but uh, these came with it. So this is what I use, and I guess I recommend that as well. Um, you're also going to need to ensure that uh, your tape or you have um, tape on your rim so um, if you haven't done that make sure you do that. Uh, cush core doesn't work with just tube tires so um, you have to ensure that you put some good uh, rim tape on and then it's good and sealed. Uh, I'm not going to go through that right now but I did do that in a previous video where I converted my fat bike tires to tubeless so if you want to check that out on how to do this go go check that out so um, yeah so uh, first steps what we're going to do is we're going to insert the tubeless um, cush core specific tubeless valve into the rim You want to kind of put a little hole in so that you can start your, you can push your tubeless valve through. So as I mentioned before, you can kind of see now, um, let's see, can you actually see? You can see where, so I have the, the hole in the tubeless valve pointing, uh, I guess, perpendicular to the rim so that uh, when I push, put the cush core on, the air can, uh, when you're uh, inflating your tires, the air can go into the side channels. Um, I'll show you again when I get the cush core on so you can see it. So again, you can kind of see the little rib on the side and I line that with the 
tubeless valve inside. So um, it sits on top and then the air can kind of channel through the side and uh, inflate the tire. So I find it easier when I'm doing this to use like a bucket so I can kind of put my um, rest the rim on top of the bucket. Um, this is probably the toughest part of it is getting your tire over top of the cush core and um, onto the rim. So um, it's a little bit of some manual labor but uh, you can do it with a few tricks. I'll show you what we're doing it. So it makes it a little tougher with um, one hand, um, which is my good hand as well, so of course. Also whenever you're putting um, your tires on, not necessarily with tubeless or anything, always make sure you find the um, the little rotation uh, indicator on your tire and ensure that so you have your little indication ensure that you're putting your tire on properly because you certainly you certainly don't want to get this on as you'll see shortly that it takes a little bit of uh, takes a little bit of muscle to get this on so you want to ensure that when you get it on it actually works so All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is kind of get your entire tire inside. Um, have the cush core in the rim sitting inside your tire. Makes it a little easier. Once you get it on, uh, you always want to make sure that you line up the brand with your tubeless valve. It just makes it easier to find. So now when you're doing this, what you want to do is, what I do is I start with one side. And you kind of just want to push the one side in. You try to get it underneath the, try to get the bead underneath the rim and then you want to just kind of keep going on one side. So the trick to actually installing Cush Core successfully is to try to get your bead to the center of your center of the rim. There's actually more space in there so when you get to the very end of the so when you get to the end of the rim, when you're trying to get the one side on, you actually have more space. Uh, you'll see in a little bit how it's going to start getting a little more tougher to, to get this in. And this is why I use multiple um, tire levers. It just makes it a little bit more easier.
Yeah, you know, this should probably be the last one. Again, this is going to kind of be the hardest one because it is the tight, tightest. So. And there you go. So that's one side. Now same idea on the other side. So I usually start at one side and just tuck the bead underneath. see that there's quite a big space right here where um, it's pretty tight so what you want to do is now try to go into the other side and try to get try to see if you can't get the bead down to the center of the of the rim. This is kind of why these fish cores valves uh, are nice because Again, you can kind of grab them, so it makes it a little easier. And then once you do this, you'll, you'll see that you'll actually have um, a lot more play um, when you're trying to get the last bit of this, that last bit of the rim, or the tire on the rim. So at this point, you could put um, a tire sealant in it, but I highly recommend that you just try to get some um, air in this first, see if it seats, see if your tape is okay. Um, once that's done, um, I don't know, I always do this anyway, but I recommend taking out like your um, the core out of your uh, tubeless valve. Uh, that way you can just pour your sealant inside here. Um, at that point your tires are already seated and then um, you just repump it up to the pressure you want. So, so I'm going to now pump it, get the tire seated, and then we are going to add a bit of sealant in. But basically that's it. So um, it's not a super easy thing. I would say the one thing, the biggest thing to to remember when doing this is to make sure you're always trying to get um, the bead towards the center of the rim. There's a lot more room in the center and it gives you more more room around to play to put the actual um, tire on the rim. So yeah, um, thanks for joining me today and uh, yeah, I hope, you, uh, I hope you get something from this and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the trail in about five weeks, but uh, till next time YouTube. Peace out.